Nancy Kaufman. We're going to show a video of a little boy named Emmett who came to the Kaufman Children's Center for a four-day intensive program known as Speak, Speech Praxis Experience at Kaufman. Um, very often I'll see children from other states and countries for a four-day intensive and it's for the purpose of evaluation, establishing goals, and demonstrating treatment techniques through the Kaufman Speech to Language Protocol methods. So I record every session and then um, narrate on the recording exactly what I'm doing and why, um, giving some hints and tips that would be helpful to that individual child. The parents are generally observing and then they have an opportunity to be coached through play um, within the treatment sessions as well. So Emmett came to the Kaufman Children's Center for a four day at four years, six months, and he was accompanied by his parents, as well as on the first day, one of his speech and language pathologists, which I love because then we get to work together on behalf of the child in person. Um, I did an initial evaluation to d establish goals and to look at characteristics of childhood apraxia speech. Emmett was already diagnosed with CAS by one of his speech and language pathologists. Um, so, Emmett had, had a very complicated birth history, which I'm going to um, uh, have this remain confidential. But here are the characteristics of childhood apraxia of speech that I saw when I had the opportunity to meet and work with Emmett. He had limited cooing and babbling as an infant. He also had oral apraxia, where it was difficult for him to lateralize his tongue on direct imitation, though he could do, do so when he was eating. He had vowel inaccuracies in the connected speech, oral groping for articulatory positioning, inconsistent syllable and word productions over repeated trials, a restricted phonemic repertoire, especially of complex consonants. His imitation was slightly better than his spontaneous utterances, and he also, um, he, he also uh, produced many phonological processes. And these are implemented by children to simplify the motor plans of words. Um, for example, he exhibited assimilation, final consonant deletion, cluster reduction, weak syllable deletion, stopping, fronting, voicing, and others. Um, so when, when I'm first seeing a child like Emmett, who is an early learner in, in regard to speech, motor, planning, and expressive language, we just work on some uh, five lists of single words. So what that in, in, encompassed for Emmett was, a, was as follows. First, we're working on some simple syllable shapes. For him, he was having trouble with vowel change to syllable words such as mommy, daddy, puppy. He had difficulty with simple bisyllabics where the consonants and the vowels change, although they're only simple cons consonants in words such as happy or tummy or tuba. And consonant, vowel, consonant. For him to break assimilation and to make sure that he was including final consonants. We also were working on S accuracy. Another uh, list for Emmett was just to work on simple nouns to perfection. Another list is just simple requesting words or manding words. These are power words where they're just single words that manipulate the environment, such as in, on, out, off, up, down, come, go, don't, help, open. Another list that we were working on was favorites. So we always look at the children's favorite foods, drinks, toys, activities, people and pets names, favorite characters, favorite places, which are, can be complicated and very random uh, word types. Um, and that's where we have to simplify the motor plan of the words um, more often than some of the other words. We simplify the motor plan of words by implementing phonological processes for the child to help them with best approximations. Um, the details of the KSLP approach um, are best learned through my e-courses, uh, through Northern Speech Services. I also have some webinars through Apraxia Kids. Um, and the last list are just high frequency words, words that come, across, that, that come up often, or even words that we have to work on that are grammatical um, words such as is or was. Um, so those are the five single word lists. And then we can get into some expressive language goals. So one of them in the KSLP is called re-scripting. Whenever we can anticipate what a child is trying to convey, 
whether they're just pantomiming or pointing or gesturing or maybe just putting together a few cryptic words where they could do much better. We're going to figure out what they're trying to convey and then we're going to re-script their utterances. And we're going to talk about uh, trying to use pivot phrases. In the KSLP approach, a pivot phrase is a word or phrase that stays constant. So the child only has to come up with one novel word. These would be such phrases as I want, um, I want to verb, put on blank, take off blank, put away blank, let me blank, help me blank. Um, but you can see that the child only has to recall one single word to push into a pivot phrase. They also could be just one word pivot phrases like my, my mouth, my nose, my toy, or open, or those kinds of words. Um, another goal is for expressive language is for Emmett to use the words that were worked on for clarity, but use them to make single word requests or comments. So saying cookie to get a cookie. Um, and then putting words together. Um, at this point, because Emmett's an early learner and it's very tough for him to make all of the motor plans to combine words, we're just going to use subject, verb, object, um, three word utterances that are telegraphic in nature. So it might be something like, I eat apple, or boy walk dog, instead of I eat the apple, or the boy is walking the dog. We're just going to keep things simple to two and three word utterances so that the children can maintain the motor plans of words. And then we'll work on grammar as the children progress within the KSLP methods. So not all of these um, goals or techniques were shown on this particular video. This was one of his last sessions during his four day. And it'll also show his mom um, getting, having some coaching. His dad had some coaching as well. Um, but here are some of the techniques that you might see. We always want to establish motivation. And in this case, with young children, we want to find highly preferred toys and activities for the children to keep them motivated and, interesting, and interested. Things that are peace toys are great because we can get each response or many responses before reinforcing to create the whole uh, toy or effect of the game. Um, you're going to see that we're focusing on five single word lists. And remember those are syllable shapes, simple nouns, simple manding words or, or requesting words, the favorites list, and high frequency words. And then we need to use some cues. In, in the KSLP methods, they're mostly auditory and visual. Um, I don't typically uh, have to touch the child or use more tactile cueing unless auditory and visual skills are, do not work. And then you're going to see a lot of blocked practice where we're going to keep on the same lists again and again. They're not going to be varied. They're not going to necessarily um, be mixed or varied with other tasks. Um, and we're going to re-script his attempts at communication and gain as many responses as possible within our session. We're going to implement errorless teaching. Errorless teaching, or some people call it errorless learning, just means that we are going to cue before failure. Um, so if I know that Emmett is going to delete a medial consonant, once his mouth is forming into going into that medial consonant, I'm going to cue him before he even gets there so that he will be successful with his utterance. Error correction, meaning that if he makes an error, he's not going to get reinforced, but we're going to help him to be successful and to get a best approximation if possible, as well as getting it a few more times before we then reinforce. And then we need to gain expressive language as functionally as possible with those pivot phrases. So I hope you enjoy uh, this session with Emmett, and I want to thank his parents for being so generous and allowing us to uh, record and use it for teaching purposes. This is our last session on May 3rd, 2018. With Emmett. What's your name? Emmett. Oh, I love the way you say Emmett. Okay, so we're going to go over all the goals. So we've got lists of single words, and we've got some common nouns to work on, some syllable shape words to work on that are mostly also nouns, and some of our favorites as well. And we're always going to work on our pivot phrases through play. So do you want to play with this toy? Do you want to play with this toy? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Tell me, I, you got it. 
and we don't want to feed every single word. We can start them out, but then we can just maybe whisper it or oral posture it and give some gestures. And we have to turn this puzzle on and tell me. The puzz. Oh, puzzle. That's one of your words. Puzz. Oh, puzzle. Okay, you turn on the puzzle. You did it. Very good. Do you see a drum? Yeah. Tell me that you see a drum. I. A drum, drum. Okay, we want to break assimilation. If he wants to say bum, we got to get that D in there. Drum. All right, now look at all of these. Look at these. And you can pick ones that match, okay? Can you find a match? Which one do you want to pick? I, the, P, and no. P, no. Good, piano. Put it right here. Put it right here. Now you can put the other piece on, okay? Yeah. Let's listen. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Does this need a new battery? Oh, no. Hold on. Yay! And let me hear you say dumb. Da. Out. Okay. So we want to pull away the final sound, but not the initial sound on most consonant vowel consonants. All right, let's start some naming. Are you ready? And we're going to lead in with a fill in the blank. I like to ride on a bus. Very good, bus. And I like to read a book. 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 Yes. And this is a baby. Baby. And I like to eat a cook. Cook. He. And I like to put on my boot. Yes. And this is the pa. Pa. Good. And this is a bed. And I open the d. Can you make a better o? o. Say do. 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 Door. And I put on my hat. And I put. I like to ride on a boat. And this one is an a. Go ahead, do it again. A. Both. Apple. And this one is a pop. Pop. Good. And that I like to throw a. Pop. And I drink the. Pop. Do it again. Water. Water. Do it again. Water. Water. And this one is a ba. Banana. Banana. And these are some. Ba. Wow. That was so terrific. And now he needs minimal cues. He's almost to the point of naming on his own and putting in all of those final sounds. That's great. All right, which one are you going to pick? You've got to pick a pair that go together. Oh, the guitar. Where's the other piece of the guitar? Tell me here. Ah, you did it. And what do you have to do? Dump out. Okay, dump it out. And remember, we, we have to get those diphthong vowels, and those are two movements. So out is not at, it's out. you got to get the ooh in there. All right, we're going to get some more. All right, the next level we're going to work on is going to be, where did they go? The favorites, but I can't find them, so we're going to do some syllable shapes. <laughs> so we were doing vowel change. Let's start with those. And some of these are redundant because they're like bubble. Tell me, bubble. Ba, but do ba. Banana. Banana. Mom. Mommy. Mommy. Daddy. Oh, did you do that right? Try it again. Da. Okay, do it again. Yes, do it again. Yes, good. Baby. Baby. Pup. Pup. Good. P. Po. Do it again. Pe people. People. Turtle. Turtle. And potato. Potato. Because that A is A E. Tato. That was very, very good. Okay, pick another one. And these are the hard ones, these simple bisyllabics. We're just going to do a few. 
Oh, you found the xylophone. Where's the other part of the xylophone? Oh, tell me, I found it. I got it. I'll say, let me do it. Let me do it. And that's a script. Okay, and then we're going to dump. How do you say that word? Dump. Out. I got them. <laughs> okay, this one is a b. Knee. Do it again. What is it? It's a b. Yeah, but you got to pay attention. This one is a die. Dino. This one's very pie. You were looking at this one. This one is good. And this one is a, it's not a pie. It's a pa. No, pa. Go do it again. Pa. And that's errorless queuing where I queue before failure. And this is some, this is some, look at the picture. Water. Water. Okay. And this one is a say bow. Say hit. Bow. Now you say it. Say it one more time. That third time is really hard, so we got to get it again. Hip bow. That inconsistent on repeated trials. All right, get another one. Oh, you got that drum. Where's the other drum? Here. And then we're going to dump. You say dump. You say dump. Out. Yay. All right, the last one. And this pig got all m Good. What did it get? It got all m Do it again. Woo. One more. This is his ta. Good. Do it again. This is his ta me. Do it again. Tommy. Tommy. And we want to smooth it out so there's no vocal breaks, and we're going to get there. One more because it's an easy one. It's the Tidy. You did it. All right. Can you do one more? Ba. Uh, ba. Do it again. Ba. Do it again. Ba. 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 Okay. One more. Oh, good thinking. It goes on that side. Right. Whoa. <laughs> the flute. My favorite. Yay. And we're going to dump. 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 Out. Going to dump it out. Okay, can you turn it off? Because we're all done with it. <laughs> turn off. What are you going to do? I turn, I turn it off. Good. All right. And it goes back in the bag. And remember that there's other ways to get at some of the syllable shapes, like just working on two syllables with characters. We're just going to do the characters right now. Or we can do the characters with a pivot phrase, which we already showed. So this one is, um, this one is the bunny, and this one is a, and this one is wo woody. Woody, good. And this one is mini, and this one is a, this one is a, oops, hip bow. Bow. We need that vowel accuracy. Tell me hip bow. bow, bow. Do it again. Up, yeah. Whoops, you missed it. Bow. bow. And this is a backward chain. Bow. bow. Hip bow. Bow, bow. Hip bow. And this one is knee. Nemo. Nemo. Do it again. Knee. And this is Elmo. Elmo. And this one is Abby. What's her name? Abby. You did it. And Oh, hi. This one is a m. No, ma. Ma. Key. 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 Good trying. And this one's name is Dumbo. Who is it? Da. Da. Bo. Do it again. Da. Da. Bo. We know that he might assimilate, so we want to make sure he's not doing the same movement twice in that word. 
And this is Wendy. Who is it? With? Me. Good. And this one is? Anna. Anna. Good. Aww. So a lot of these characters have some nice two-syllable names to work on. Then use them as subjects when we're going to put in a pivot phrase. And we can do a pivot phrase like now because we're going to do put away. And you tell me, put? Put away. Abby. 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 Okay. Just throw her in. Go on. Throw her in. And put. Keep going. Gotta go faster. Put. put. Oh. Away. Knee. 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 Nemo. Nemo. Oh, that's okay. Just put it in. There's two Nemos. Put. Come on. Keep going. Put. Put. Oh. Away. Um. Yeah. Me too, Mama. <laughs> Just throw them in. Oh, two me. No, it's not two. That's not another Elmo. But throw them in, please. But I should have rescripted that. Tell me, I, s, two, two. Elmos. Elmo. And we're going to put, put a, with, with Winnie the Pooh. And we're going to go ahead and say, put, put a, away, min, 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 and put, put a, away, monk, <laughs> e, Ma, Ma, E, and put, put, oh, Anna, Anna, and put, oh, po, po, pony, and put, oh, hippo, hippo, that O is really important, especially in the word open too. Put, oh, what, D, D, D. Woody. 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 One more. Put. Put. Oh. Bunny. Bunny. Say knee. Knee. Ba. Ba. Knee. Bunny. Good. <laughs> all right. Oh, no. We got some more over here. We're going to put them all away. Goodbye. You say goodbye. Bye. All right, let's do these really fast. I like to drink some. These are favorites. I like to drink my mom. Uh-uh. This means, so we really want him to know what these cues mean if everybody's using the same ones. My cut is down here. Mel. Mom. Uh-uh. Okay, do it again. Got to pay attention. Mel. Mom. What is it? It's some mel. Mom. And that's a blah. Blah. And that's a do. Do. No. And that's pus. Oh. Puzzle. And that's pay play doh. Play doh. And that's ice steam. Ice cream. And that's a book. Good. And that's a hot dog. Hot dog. And he likes to go out. And I like to ha have a ba. Un. Are you okay down there? <laughs> Tell me balloon. Ba. Ba. Un. What are you doing? I know, I don't have any toys right now, but you've got to pay attention anyway. We're almost done. This one is a pizza. Uh. Do it again. Pizza. Uh. That one is a... That one is a... Cook. Cook. Key. And that one is some... Bubbles. Do it again. Bubbles. You did it. And I can put these away. away. You got it. All right. So also with the nouns, we were doing um, to name functions. What do you do with a bus? I. I. Why bus? Good. What do you do with a book? I. I book. And we're not putting the articles in yet. What do you do with a baby? I. I hug. Baby. I hug the baby. And what do you do with a cookie? I. <laughs> what do you do with potty? I, I go potty. And what do you do with a bed? I, I sleep in a bed. bed. And what do you do with the door? I, I oh. open door. And what do you do with a hat? I, I put. put. I and what do you do with a boat? I, I and what do you do with an apple? I, I eat apple. Apple. And what do you do with a puppy? I, I pet pu puppy. And what do you do with a ball? I, I throw a 
both. I'm going to do it with water. I. I. D. D. Water. water. And what do you do with banana? I. I. Eat. Ba. 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 Me. Whoops. That's not a bunny. Ba. 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 Na na ba. 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 That's called verbal ba. perseveration. It's also part of apraxia, is getting stuck on a previously ba. learned pattern. Ba. Na na. What do you do with bubbles? I. I blow. Blow. Boo boo. And that's all we're going to do on those. Okay, and I want to show something new. new. Yes, this is a book about a teddy bear. And that's an easy word for you. Teddy. Teddy. Not Eddie. Teddy. So Teddy's waking up. I want to hear you say, Teddy. Wake. Wake up. Good. I want to hear, wake. Wake. Up. Now he's going to put on his pants. Tell me, Teddy. Teddy. So this becomes a put on pivot phrase. Now he's going to put on his shirt and give him an answer first. Now he's going to put on his shirt. Instead of what is he doing, we're giving him some of the information in our question. Teddy. Teddy. Shirt. Hey, now it's his sweater. Teddy. Teddy. Sweater. Yeah, I know. He's putting it over his head. And tell me, sweater. Teddy. Shh. Ooze. Ooze. So I covered up this page because he was going to look at it and it would be get, getting him distracted off of that task. Tell me, move Mom. your Mom. your Mom. hand, Ten. please. Ten. Okay. And Teddy's going to go out. Teddy, Teddy. go. Huh? Does, is there something that hurts you? No. Okay. <laughs> no. Can I put away this book? Tell me. Uh, oh. The book. Open your mouth. You got it. All right. But when he went outside, it was raining. Just like today, it's raining. No. Yeah, it's raining. No. And you're going to get all wet. Yeah. But we have to wear our rain coat and put up our um. Bella. Bella. That's a hard word. All right. Tell me to open the book. Open. The book. book. Good. Hey, Teddy has a toy box. What does Teddy have? Teddy, Teddy has a to Teddy. box. box. And what is he hugging? Is that a teddy bear? Yeah. Hey, Teddy's hugging a teddy? That's silly. Tell me, Teddy. Okay, I want you to put that down and not play with it anymore. Teddy. Yeah. Teddy. Teddy. Hug. Teddy. What? That's so silly. Uh oh, what's he riding? Is that a pony? Yeah. Tell me, Teddy? Teddy? Ride. Ride. Pony. Mm. Ah, how do you say pony? Pony. Mm. pony. Now he's going to blow a horn. Teddy? Teddy? Blow. Pony. You did it! Now he's going to paint a house. Teddy? Daddy? 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 Ah. And now. He has to put away the toys. You tell him, Teddy. Eddie. Not Eddie. Teddy. Toys. Toys. Good. Away. All right. So that's another way to work on three word utterances and try to find a pivot phrase if you can. Should we do the last one? Because. Teddy likes to um, set the table to, to for dinner. Let's see if we can do this one. We're going to see what's happening. Oh, he's getting ready for, he's getting ready to eat. Eat. So first he's going to wash his hands. Let me hear you say, Teddy. Teddy. Wash. Hey. You got it. And now he's going to set the table. Teddy. Teddy. Set. Teddy. The table. Oh, how do you say table? Teddy. Teddy. Bo. Good. What's that called? It's a tay. And now he's going to put food on the table. Yeah. Teddy. Teddy. Food. We haven't worked on F yet. On the table. Table. Good. Hey, he's pouring the milk. Teddy. 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 
milk. And now Teddy's going to eat food. Tell me, Teddy, eat food. All right, you did it. And tell me, all done. All done. Okay, we're going to be all done with the books. Now let's do things through play. Oh, it's Legos. Tell me to dump out the blocks. Tell me, da, da. Do it again. Da. Uh -uh. Da. Ow. Blacks. Okay. Look at all of those. Hey, first we're going to, let's, let's put the orange pieces on the, on the, um, on the cars. And tell me, put orange. Here's another one. Put how about over here? Put. How about this one? No? Okay. Let's hook up. What do we have to do? Hook up. Wow. And this can be a truck that goes way high up. But you know what? This will help you to put some more on the back. Okay. So let's do this. Okay. So wait. Let's see. You found the milk. Is there another blue milk? Is there another one that matches that one? It's blue. It's this color. Okay, listen to Nancy. It's this color. Find the blue. You did it! Tell me that you have two blues. I. I. Blues. No, Oh, it's a choo choo train? Yeah. I didn't know that. It has wheels, though. I think, I think it looks like a truck. All right, what color are you going to find next? I want two. I. I. Find brown. Okay, where's another brown? Do we have two brown? I. Brown. And you know what that is? Bread. Bread. All right. So our blends. If it's if it's b e if it's b r it's b e r it's bread. So if it's tree it's tree. If it's crayon it's crayon. What? Hey, you got a, a truck full of food, but we got to load up the truck with some more. What color are you going to pick? I want two. I, I want to pick orange. Wait. Hey, there's oranges on there. Wait. You're not going to put anything on this truck? No. Nope, we're going to just build up high. You tell me, I want to. I, I want to build, build up, up high. high. Hey, you found the jam. What is that? Jam. So you got to find red. Is that the jam? No. Where's the jam? Here. Tell me that you have jam. I. I. Jam. I want to hear you say jam. Can't hear it. Jam. What's on the white one? Let's see what's on the white one. It's some eggs. Okay, so how many white? I, I uh, two. White. What? Blacks. Black. That's some eggs. E. Hey, we were playing the egg game with Dad. Remember? With Dad, D. Who did we play the egg game with? D. No, you got it. Who did we play that doghouse game with? M Mommy. You got it. Oh, those don't go together. Which one are you going to do? The green? Tell me that you have two green. I, I have two, two greens. Green. Oh, look at this. This can be an awning. Why? Because then it's raining and they don't get they won't get wet. Hey, you found a tuna fish. Tell me tuna, tuna fish. This. Oh, there's another blue, another light blue. And the yellows. What's on the yellows? That's some ch cheese. cheese. There, it goes with this one. And what do you have? I, I have two, two cheese. cheese. Yeah, two cheese. Two cheeses. <laughs> oh, boy. We got some extra blocks, and we, oh, maybe somebody can sit up high in that one. Do you think somebody can sit in there? Uh, no. 
I don't know. Tell me, I don't, no. don't know. No. I don't know. You know that the cat likes to sit there. Let's see if we can put it on. Okay, put the cat in there, and she likes to sit on top. Tell me, the kitty sits on top. Okay, because I didn't pull away the pee, he wanted to start with it. So let's try ta ta. Okay, where is the cat sitting on ta? Okay, I want you to look at me for a minute. Okay, where is the cat sitting on ta? Good, he's sitting on ta. Nope, so this is to break assimilation. So let's do it one more time. Ta. No, you got to put your tongue up first. Ta. Do it again. Put your tongue up. Ta. One more time. Ta. And here's two people. And that's one of your words. Who are those? People. I want to hear pee. People. Good. Who are they? People. People. Who's going to sit inside and drive the truck? The boy will drive. Where will the yeah? Where will the girl go? I don't think she can fit in there with him. Where will she sit? On top of the awning? I want to put her in. I want to. Oh no! Say so I want to put her in. You did it! Now two people are driving. How many? Two, two people are driving. Oh, the cat says, wait for me. Where, oh, no, the cat's sad. Did they leave without the kitty cat? Say, we'll come and get you. What are they going to say? We will get you. Okay, come and get me. Thank you for coming to get me. I'm so happy. Is that a happy kitty? Hey! <laughs> Tell me not, not a happy, happy, happy kitty. kitty. Not a happy kitty. You know what I have for you? I have a big prize because it's your last day. Should I show it to you? Okay, we have to put away the blocks, all right? So let's take them out so that you can find them. you to find two yellows. Find the cheese. Find the cheese and put it in the box. And say goodbye cheese. Okay, find the blues. Two dark blues. Find two dark blues and that's the mill. Good, put them away. Find two oranges. Good, find two oranges. Oranges. Orange. And tell me, put. Oh. Oranges. And find two greens. Yeah, greens. Goodbye, green. And find two reds. That's jam. And here's two browns, and that's bread. And find two whites. Get the white. Good. White. Are you going to put the cat away too? Yeah. Because right, the cat is what color? What color was the cat? No, the cat was white. Say white. Okay. In, 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 in. <laughs> Tell me, I want to do it. I want to. Uh uh, say the whole thing. I want to do it. Okay. Oh, no! Get in there. Get in there. In there, in there, in there. Yay! <laughs> okay, how about let me out? Let me out. Out. Okay, I will. Should we try and open another one? Come what on. Is, what do we say? I want to open. What color is that? Red. That's Paddy. What's his name? Paddy. Paddy. That's Paddy right there. Paddy's taking a nap. And he's holding his D. Did you get a teddy bear?
Oh, you got the. What is that? What is it? It's. Dough! Yeah. <laughs> That's dough. That's play dough. What is it? Pay? Pay? Dough. Give it to Moppy. And tell Mommy, Ma. Ma. P. P. Oh. Pa. Dough. Dough. Moppy is holding the dough. And you get to model the whole thing correctly. Yes. What do we want? The I. I. Four, two, three. 